Politicians are misusing statutory declarations to express or withdraw support for Prime Minister Mahyuddin Yassin or any potential MP who aspires to hold the position, a lawyer said. Americ Sidhu said SDs were used to establish certain facts to remain in perpetuity. The lawyer said this in response to a statement by UMNO President Ahmad Zahid Hamidi on Tuesday that there were sufficient SDs from UMNO MPs declaring withdrawal of support for Mahyuddin as the Prime Minister to render him without a majority. Zahid said he had also presented the SDs to the Yang Dai Perchu and Agong. However, Mahyuddin announced on Wednesday that he was not resigning from his post as he still enjoyed sufficient support and his government would table a motion of confidence in the Diwan Rakyat in September. Zahid disputed Mahyuddin's statement, saying he had presented to the King more SD declarations from UMNO MPs retracting their support for the government. Americ said MPs needed only to write a signed letter to inform the relevant authority whether they backed the Prime Minister or were retracting their support for him. Americ is the lawyer who had helped prepare the first SD of the late P. Balasubramaniam, better known as Pai Bala, who implicated a senior politician in the murder of Mongolian Altantuya Sharibu. He said a SD could be set aside if the maker claimed it was made under duress. It could be tendered in court and could be admitted as evidence if parties had no objection. Lawyer Asrimarugan, however, said SDs could be used to express or withdraw support for Mahyuddin or anyone aspiring to lead the government. Srimarugan said an MP who supports a prime minister may subsequently revoke it due to change of circumstances and he or she would still have not flouted the law. According to Black's Law Dictionary, he said, a declaration was a formal statement, proclamation or announcement embodied in a document authorized by law. Srimarugan said it would only become an offense if a person made two contradictory statements or made a statement knowing it to be false. Those found guilty may be punished for up to three years or fined as stated under Section 193 of the Penal Code. <laughs>